Hey guys, you're watching a guitar tutorial for Mumford & Sons' new song, Tompkins Square Park. This is the first song off their new record, and um, if you stick around at the end of the song, I will be playing the song and singing it so you can see how it sounds in context. So this is a, a very easy song. Uh, you need to know six chords, capo on fifth fret, standard tuning. Now the six chords you'll need to know, uh, a minor, C, E minor, F, G, and D minor. So it's just those six chords. Alright, so it's a, a pretty standard format song. You got verse, chorus, verse, chorus, bridge, chorus. Alright, so for the intro and the verse, we have five chords, and uh, the first four chords are played for 16 beats, and then the last chord is played for 8 beats, so half the amount of the other chords. So the strumming pattern for the song is very straightforward, it's just a down up down up throughout the whole song pretty much, but what I like to do is to accent the snare hit, so it should sound something like this. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and so on the two and the four you want to accent that hit and when you're playing the chord it sounds like something like this. All right, so that's the strumming pattern. So for the verse there are five chords. So they are C, E minor. A minor, back to E minor, and finally F. And now the F is the chord that is played for half the amount of time as the others. So we have 16 beats of each chord except for F, which is 8 beats. And uh, it should sound something like this. One, two, three. So that's the intro and the verse right there. Now before this song actually comes in, um, you hold an A minor and then when all the drums and all the music come in, that's when you start playing that chord progression which starts on a C. Now for the chorus we have three chords. We have F, we have A minor and G. Now the F and the A minor are played for 8 beats each and the G is played for 16. So it should sound something like this. One, two, three. And that's it. For the first chorus, that's played twice. For the second chorus, that's played through four times. Okay, so for the bridge, we're gonna break this up into two sections. So two sections of four chords, and then a final tag chord on the end to build up to the musical break. So the first part of this bridge is D minor, A minor, G, and back to D minor. Now the second part of this bridge is exactly the same as the first part, except you're replacing the G chord for a C chord. And it sounds something like this. And then the tag chord on the end is an F, which builds up back to the chorus chords, which are used for the musical break. 
So with the bridge, um, all the chords are just strummed once, uh, except for the tag chord at the end, the F, when it starts building up back to the musical break. So it should sound something like this. And that's it. So after that bridge, we have the musical break, which is simply the chorus chords played twice. And then we have the final chorus, which is just the chorus chords played twice. And it ends on the G. There's no resolution chord there. So that's it for this song. I'll have the link to my tab with the chords and lyrics below. Now someone on Ultimate Guitar pointed out that the song isn't played with a capo. Uh, and I'd probably agree, live they probably don't play with a capo. But with the capo on 5, we are playing the easiest chord possible for beginners. Um, now if you want to play it without a capo, all you need to do is in the, the link to the tab below, transpose up plus 5 and then um, just play along with those chords that it shows you, and that's without a capo. Um, but the method I've taught you today is with a capo. Okay, so now I'm gonna play the intro, verse, and chorus, and sing along to it, so you know what it sounds like in context. Um, and together with the tab link below, you should have everything you need in order to play this song. All right, so here we go. That's it.